Hello all you beautiful souls and welcome to my video. My name is Alex aka In The Bat Loop. Made it over to Universal Studios to give you some update on construction at Howlin' Horn Heights and I get it. Maybe a lot of you have already seen some videos but the only thing that I did maybe a little different from what I've seen out there is I'm giving you an update at night because some of the food booths were lit it up the scare zones were not but just wanted to show you just a little bit what it looks like at night and for those of you who are new here i do food reviews at the park at these events so stay tuned for hellion horn night food reviews coming your way so let's get into it hellion horn nights updates at the park starting at the front this is where we'll get the open ceremony. Dr. Oddfellow is our icon. He'll probably be up there down below by the gate. Who knows, but a good spot would be at the front of the gate or at the Today Cafe, which is a little bit over to the right, right there would be a good spot to watch the opening act. And as you can see, there's just set pieces put out right here. I guess it's gonna be his scare zone. So I wonder how big his scare zone is going to be up here at front. And the details on this, you guys, it looks amazing. As you can see, as I'm zooming in, just beautiful work. They're doing a great job with the theming for this event. All the set pieces look great. They, they just have this vibe to them. And I just cannot wait to when everything gets put together, lit it up and just ready to go at night for opening weekend and opening night of Halloween Horror Nights. And for those who are not aware, most of the IP houses, their shirts, the merchandise have been revealed, have been out, and you can purchase The Exorcist, Stranger Things, and The Last of Us. So if you haven't bought your shirt yet for Halloween Horror Nights, go get it at the theme park. You can buy any of the three right now and be ready for the opening night or whenever you go to Halloween Horror Nights. So just in case you're not aware, there will be five scare zones all connected to the icon, which is Dr. Oddfellow. The first one up, Jungle of Doom. In the 1920s, Dr. Oddfellow ventured deep into the darkest jungle, performing horrific experiments on nature. Now his monstrous creations are running amok and are coming after you. So this is going to be one of the scare zones. Not really going to go over all the scare zones. I'll post them on the screen. You can read them and take a look. And I'll give you some shots of where they will be at. Alright, let us get into the food booth at this event. You have this one that I don't know if it's connected to Chucky, even though there is a Chucky house, and I'll show you that momentarily, or if it's connected to Stranger Things, or if it's connected to The Exorcist. But that's one of the themed food booths. They're right in the front. And it is kind of close to where they're speculating the exorcist house is going to be at. So I just am going to take a guess and say it might be connect to the exorcist, like themed food. The actual Chucky Playhouse food booth 
is over here and again maybe that he might get two but is over by fast and the furious and you can see the theming with the blood and the little bad the little toys the the color scheme wanna play everything around this food booth it l just the theming looks great the colors look great they did a phenomenal job and that there's a spray paint of blood or splash of blood just all over and smeared as you can see it looks so awesome so there's that one like i said right next to fast and the furious all right the next two food booths up are stranger things and the yeti as you can see again it's it was starting to get a little dark so they kind of have it lit lit it up but the yeti one with the cabin looks great you can see there's like some kind of claw slash marks on the top right there around the building stone and as you can see over there that one has to do with the last of us and these food booths are themed to the firefly so you got to watch the show to know not really going to go into detail but like you know so you have the symbol all over you got two food booths so this is where i believe that the chucky uh, would have two maybe food booths and that's why because the other one just has the color to it. what else could it be but we'll find out but as you can see like the theming looks good the camera the fake cameras with the red lights they're blinking so again i caught this at night you're not going to see this in the daytime and i've seen a lot of people who are filming it did not show or see what it looks like at night but you got like i said the theming everything looks incredible all the food booths look incredible you guys i'm getting excited for this event and I cannot wait to try all these foods to give you guys my food review. So if you're new here, I do food reviews at the theme park. I rate all the different foods based off of a one to 10 scale, which I call bats. And that sums up my bat score. All right, so that's all of the food boost for now. More things will be popping up at the park. I'll try my best to give you more updates as we approach closer to opening night, which is September 1st. Are you going to Halloween Horror Nights? Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited? Are you going to Halloween Horror Nights? And soon I'll try to make a video of my top 10 most hyped haunted houses that I'm looking forward to going before the event starts. And then we'll see when the event begins, if that list stays the same or if it changes. So stay tuned for that. If you made it this far, hit that like button, subscribe, because I cover everything that has to do with theme park events, food reviews, podcast you name it don't miss out on the fun and i will see you in the fog